Hey, what's up? I'm uh, Yuke DeSimory, the author of Off the Chain, Off the Chain Volume 2, Abundant Ministries, So You Want Me to Do What, and uh, my current book, Revenge Between My Lover's Legs. Um, I'm doing this little video just to uh, basically talk about some things about uh, Smashwords. Um, Smashwords is a distribution service like Lulu for independent authors. Unlike Lulu, though, however, Smashwords focuses on ebooks, and they can be used to distribute your books to Barnes and Nobles, Sony, Kobo, and Amazon. I looked at Smashwords as a distributor because both Barnes and Noble, Sony, and Kobo won't let independent distri independents distribute directly to them. Plus, I want to publish my ebooks on as many electronic e-readers as possible for use on my beloved iPad when it ships. So I set up an account. And after following their rigid editing standards for ebooks, I had Smashwords. I had a Smashwords version of my latest books, Revenge Between My Lover's Legs, and, off, and the Off the Chain Sampler in Word format that I uploaded for conversion. Now, um, Smashwords converted my books and then demanded that I remove the images from my books and change my book covers because they felt they were too sexual in nature. Anybody that gets my books, you know, you know that basically, you know, um, my books are reality based and not only do I write about things that I do, but I also have images, you know, from shit that I do. You know, it's just how I roll, <laughs> you know, but Smashwords basically came back and told me to take all that out. You know, I was uh, offended to say the least because all of my books are already in print and neither Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, Borders, or any of the other bookstores where I have my books ever expressed any issues with my content. I was doubly pissed off because Smashwords is a distributor, not a publisher. So they are way out of bounds trying to dictate to an author about their content. You know, I fumed for several days and then did some research and found out how to directly distribute my books to Kobo. I already distributed my books to Amazon, so that eliminated two ticks that I needed for Smashwords. I did some additional research, but couldn't find a way to go to direct to uh, Barnes & Nobles and Sony without Smashwords. So after fuming some more, I removed the images that Smashwords had their panties in a bunch about and changed the cover they found offensive. So to distribute with Smashwords, I'll be forced to have two separate versions of all my books. I thought that was bad, and then Snap Smashwords then announced that style guides requirements will change in the future. So after going through a tedious revision process, once again, I'm going to have to go through yet another all over again. I don't think so. The second that Barnes & Nobles and Sony get their stuff together and allow publishers to directly upload titles to their sites, I will be getting rid of Smashwords as a middleman. Independent authors and publishers are looking for inexpensive and easy methods to offer their products to the market. Smashwords Advantage is providing a portal for the distribution to multiple marketing channels. However, being anal about an author's content when they are only providing distribution services and having shifting and tedious editing standards will cause authors to view Smashwords as more problems than they are worth. Smashwords could have become a major force in the new age of book publishing, but alas, like all companies with an excellent product at the right time with stupid management, they are doomed to failure. Like I said, Smashwords is kind of stupid. <laughs> so that's my little, uh, you know, my, my little five cents on smash words. As you see, that kind of pissed me off. I had to break that down. Uh, you know, uh, check me out. Google me and uh, go to Amazon. Check out my books. Peace.